Hello, book buddies. It's Miss Evelyn with another awesome story for us to enjoy today. Don't forget to tell mom and dad to subscribe to our channel so that you'll know every time I upload a new awesome story for us to read. But first, listen to this sound. That's right, it's the sound of turkeys gobbling. And you know what that means, it's almost Thanksgiving. <clears throat> we can be thankful for more than just good food to eat on Thanksgiving book buddies. We can be thankful for all the things in our lives. Our story today is called Thanksgiving is for Giving Thanks. It is written by Margaret Sutherland and the illustrator is Sonia Lamont. Let's get started. Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. Thanksgiving is a day of the year that we eat lots of turkey and pumpkin pie. But most of all, it is a day when we give thanks for all the things that make us feel happy. I am thankful for dad and mom. They love me when I'm good and even when I'm not so good. I am thankful for everyone else in my family. My grandma gives really good hugs. I am thankful for my teachers. Are you thankful for Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Lockhart? Our teachers make us feel special when they hang our artwork on the wall. I am thankful for my friends who make me laugh. I am thankful for my room. Sometimes it's nice to be by myself. I am thankful for hot chocolate on a cold, rainy day. I am thankful for all the dogs and cats that I know. It's fun when they let me pet them. I am thankful for my favorite books. I like bedtime when mom and dad read to me. I am thankful for bright sunny days when I can play outside with my friends. I am thankful for lollipops that turn my tongue purple or green or orange or red or blue. I am thankful for special days like Thanksgiving. When I'm with my whole family, we can all be thankful together. And that's the end of our story for today, book buddies. Don't forget to say your prayers and brush your teeth before you go to bed. Listen to mommy and daddy. Be nice to your brothers and sisters. Always say please and thank you. Do your homework and clean up after you make a mess. Be a friend, not a bully. And run, play, and jump outside. Don't forget to say thank you to Mrs. Smith and Miss Lockhart and Mr. Cannon. And don't forget to join Miss Evelyn again for story time with Miss Evelyn. See you soon.